What if the future of warfare didn't involve soldiers on the ground or even pilots in the sky, but a flying machine that commands its own drone army from 15,000 meters above Earth? In June 2025, China will unveil the Jutian SS UAV, an aerial mothership that's not just futuristic, it's a strategic game changer. The sky has a new ruler and it's not a jet or a satellite. It's something way more advanced. Meet the Jutian SS UAV, China's first aerial mothership. This isn't just a drone, it's a flying battleship that can launch over 100 smaller drones in midair, carry missiles, jam enemy radar, and spy from the stratosphere. Can you believe it? Just a few decades ago, we were impressed by fighter jets. Then came drones. But now, we're talking about drones that carry other drones, like a beehive in the sky. Sounds crazy, right? But it's real. And with this launch plan for June 2025, the Jushin could seriously change how wars are fought and how surveillance is done. Built for the stratosphere, the Judean SS UAV isn't just flying high, it's flying way above the clouds. At an altitude of 15,000 meters, it can travel a whopping 7,000 kilometers without needing to refuel. And its payload? Over 100 mini drones or up to 1,000 kilograms of missiles. That's like a flying warehouse of destruction. So why does flying this high matter? Well, at that altitude, it's harder to spot on radar and it gets a massive bird's eye view of everything below. It can track enemies, spy on movements, and strike from way out of reach. Isn't that wild? But here's what makes it really special, its modular design. This isn't just a war robot. It can be quickly adjusted for different mission surveillance, jamming signals, or launching swarms. One moment it's spying, the next it's in attack mode. Sounds great, right? A machine that can switch roles mid-flight? That's next level innovation. At the heart of the Jutian SS UAV is something straight out of a sci-fi movie, the Isomerism Hive Module. Think of it like a beehive in the sky. While the mothership flies high above, its belly opens midair and out come dozens of drones, each with its own mission. Can you picture that? It's like watching a cloud give birth to a swarm of flying robots. These drones aren't just for show, they can be recon units, mini attack drones, or jamming devices that mess with enemy signals. The Judean decides what to release based on the mission. Need to spy? It sends out the scouts. Need to strike? Here come the attackers. Want to confuse enemy radar? Release the jammers. And here's where it gets spooky. Swarm tactics. These AI-controlled drones move together, fast and unpredictably. Defending against them is like fighting ghosts in the sky. They surround, confuse, and hit before you even know what's happening. Isn't that crazy? One flying machine unleashes a full-blown coordinated attack while still flying calmly above. The Judean SS UAV isn't just another eye in the sky, it's a multi-role powerhouse. Sure, it can scout and spy like a pro, but that's just the beginning. This aerial mothership can jam enemy signals, spoof communications, and even act as a floating relay station, keeping distant units connected in the heat of battle. And when is it time to strike? It can coordinate attacks using either missiles or those AI-controlled drone swarms we talked about. It doesn't just see the battlefield, it can control it. Now here's the real kicker. Unlike traditional UAVs that need a human at the joystick, Jushin can think for itself. Using AI, it can react to threats in real time, adjust missions mid-flight, and make decisions faster than any pilot could. Isn't that crazy? We're no longer talking about remote-controlled toys, this is the next step in autonomous warfare. A drone that doesn't just follow orders, it makes them. Sounds like the future? That future's arriving in 2025. Here's where things get really futuristic. The Jushin SS UAV doesn't just carry drones, it leads them like a brain commands a body. Because of AI-powered swarm control, the drones it deploys don't wait around for human orders. They talk to each other, shifting formations mid-air like a flock of birds dodging a predator. They can adapt mid-mission, change targets, and even cover each other. Isn't that wild? Now add quantum encrypted communication to the mix. That means their messages are basically unhackable. No spying, no jamming. Every command, every data stream stays between them and mission control. Military-grade secrecy without the wires. But here's the game changer. 
This isn't just about launching attacks. It's about controlling the information space, seeing first, deciding faster, striking smarter. In modern warfare, the side with the best data often wins. In Jutian, it's designed to dominate that digital battlefield. Can you believe a single drone could manage an entire air strategy? Sounds like sci-fi, right? But it's real and it's launching soon. Here's the part that sends shockwaves through military circles. Almost no country has anything like the Jushin SSUAV. The US has the XQ-58 Valkyrie, and Australia has its loyal wingman. But those are support drones, not full-blown aerial motherships with swarm deployment. Jutian isn't just another aircraft, it's a flying command center that can unleash chaos mid-air. Can you believe it? And the timing? With tensions in the South China Sea, the Taiwan Strait, and even along the India-China border in Ladakh, this drone could watch, disrupt, or strike, all from the stratosphere. It's a force multiplier, one drone controlling a hundred, reshaping the battlefield without sending in troops. Defense analysts aren't just impressed, they're concerned. As one put it, this isn't just technology, it's a statement. It shows China's posture, confidence, and ambition in AI-driven warfare. Sounds intense, right? Because it is. This isn't a sci-fi scenario. It's the new reality of power projection in the sky. But here's the catch. What if it all goes wrong? A drone like the Jutian SS UAV makes decisions using AI. That means in the heat of battle, it could act on its own. Sounds efficient, right? But what if it misidentifies a target? Who takes the blame when a machine pulls the trigger? Scary thought, isn't it? And then there's the tech vulnerability side. GPS spoofing, AI misfires, and software glitches. Not to mention the crazy amount of upkeep this thing must need. It's not just a drone, it's a flying data center. What if it gets hacked mid-air? Plus, rival countries are already building anti-swarm weapons, signal jammers, and electromagnetic countermeasures. So while Judeon may lead the skies now, the next war might not be won by firepower, but by who controls the tech. Is this the future of war or its greatest risk? China is gearing up for the maiden flight of the Jodian SS UAV in June 2025, a big moment that will put all its promises to the test. They'll check if it can really fly its full 7,000 kilometer range, release drone swarms smoothly, and operate its AI systems without a hitch. Sounds exciting, right? But this is just the beginning. Future upgrades could include hypersonic drones launched from Jushian, mid-air refueling to stay airborne longer, and even global missions far beyond Asia. This drone isn't a one-off gadget. It's a sign of a bigger shift toward fully autonomous air warfare. China is betting that machines like Jushian will soon lead the battlefield, changing how wars are fought forever. And with the first flight just months away, the sky's new commander is about to take center stage. The Jujian SS UAV isn't just a drone, it's a flying command center and a glimpse into the future of warfare. As machines take to the skies with more brains than ever, it could be the start of a new era where battles are fought by thinking machines far above us. And that's all about it. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. And if you like more updates, subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell icon so you don't miss any videos and get notifications on time. Don't hesitate to give suggestions for our videos. See you in the next one.